It's now time to start bringing in some photography to make my board come to life, and to perhaps show other people what sites I'd like to see in San Francisco. So on that top toolbar, I'm going to press the media button, and then I can choose to browse my photo library to get a picture or a video. I'm going to go for this picture here of the streetcar, and that will insert it straight onto my freeform board. With that image selected, I can press up to view it full size and full screen, or I can go back and I can press the crop button to make that image cropped in slightly. I'm going to leave it as it is. The next thing we can change is by using those three little dots, we can change the default behaviour of that image. That means when you first put it in, by default it will have curved corners and a drop shadow. We can toggle these on or off individually. I personally quite like the rounded corners and shadow, so I'm going to turn them back onto my picture. But of course there's probably more than one thing in San Francisco I want to see, so I'm going to tap on the three dots at the very top of the app to go into split screen mode, pull up photos, and then simply drag and drop some more pictures from photos straight onto this board. While I'm doing this, it's a good time to perhaps ask you to subscribe down below if you haven't already. As well as making a course all about Freeform for iPad, there are loads more videos to help you make the most of your device. OK, I've now got four lovely photographs, and of course I can resize them and arrange them however I like. But we can actually do another really cool thing using Freeform, and that is to crop a photo to an actual shape. This could be any shape you like, using the Shapes browser from the previous video. I'm going to just grab a circle, and I'll lay that on top of my image. It would be good to imagine this as a kind of cookie cutter on top of that image. When it's in place, you're going to tap and drag to select both the object and the photo, and then you're going to press the three dots, and you're going to choose Mask with Shape. That will then cut my photograph into this circle, or whatever shape you've chosen, which makes that freeform board that bit more personal to you. I'll quickly do this with my other pictures, and then I'll meet you in the next video, where we're going to look at how we can connect objects together.